hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will be assembling the open frame home power supply that i have been working on for a few weeks now and as you can see on the table i will be showing the different components that uh, plays a role in the design of this home dc power supply or battery charger so the first component that we had to configure was the uh, DC to DC boost converter. I had added external potentiometers, not really external potentiometers, but I moved out the potentiometers to make it possible to do voltage and current adjustments because there will be a fan installed over the converter. Then also we had to go in and configure the HP power supply as you can see in the uh, previous videos that I made and um, there will be an RGB LED fan that will be uh, used to cool the boost converter to make sure that it does not overheat and load is applied and then I was able to print uh, a few uh, 3D fixtures to help me make the installation easier and quicker and uh, we will be installing some handles to make it easy to carry uh, the unit around there is a digital power meter that will be used to see all the voltage and current and if you're charging a battery how much accumulated uh, charge that you have put into your battery. Then I also made uh, some power cables to make it easier to uh, assemble the system, plug in different uh, loads and stuff. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please do like subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you get notified as i make uh, future videos I, be, I plan to work on different uh, projects ranging from power supplies diy solar battery systems led uh, product reviews 3d printing you name it so yeah so make sure you like and subscribe and uh, so you get notified all right now let's dive into the assembly process
All right, uh, now we're going to show how you can charge lead acid batteries using this battery charger. So the, everything is plugged in. So the first thing we're going to do is to configure the charging voltage. So because this battery here is uh, a 12 volt lead acid, lead acid battery, I will configure the charging voltage to 14 volts. on the system we should be setting it to 14 volts this is 14.6 a little bit higher all right we have it at so the first thing we needed to do is to configure the charging voltage because this is a 12 volt battery we set the voltage coming out of this to 14 volts and um, again to be safe we turn it off first. So you, as you can see, the battery voltage is at 11.9. So if I turn it on, you will observe the voltage going up. See the battery voltage is rising up. So now we can come in and set our charging current for a battery like this, it's usually recommended, this is a 12 amp, uh, ampere hour battery, so it's usually recommended that um, we, the recommendation part of manufacturer on this battery I believe is about 3 amps, so I will set the current to about 3 amps. So the set current is about 3.2 amps and as you can see the battery is charging and that's this for for uh, for a uh, 12 volt battery. Next up, we're going to show how you can charge the 24 volts, then the 48 volts. So we have configured this is 24 volts. We don't have the batteries connect hooked up yet. So the first thing we're going to do again is to set the voltage. So for the two batteries, two 12 volts, lead acid batteries, we're going to configure the charging voltage to 28 volts in this time. So it's still at 14 volts from the last time, so we'll take it up to 8, 28 volts. So it's now at 28 volts on the spot. So again, we'll turn off. system so check the charging current again because it's the same kind of batteries and it's configured and the, the current source maintains the current the charging current and it's still at 3.18 which is approximately 3.2 so uh, so as you can see you observe that the battery voltage is slowly it's gonna be slowly rising as we're charging the battery so the next, we will show uh, 48 volts. All right, at this point, we have configured a 48, 48 volt battery, but the battery is not uh, connected to the charger yet. The charger is still off. So we have to play everything safe. So again, we're going to repeat the step where we have to uh, configure the charging voltage. So the charging voltage for this will be about 56 volts and the reason for that is the nominal charging voltage for each of these battery when they are full is 14 volts uh, so we do that 14 times 4 which is 56 so we're going to set this to 56 volts and then we will bring in the batteries so as you can see we are still set to uh, 29 uh, sorry 27.9 volts which is which was what we had it before when we charged the 24 volt battery so now let's increase the voltage so this is 56.1 volts which is close enough so now again to play it safe we turn off the power supply or the charger and now we bring in the battery there could be a little bit of an arc here, which is normal, very much expected. So again,
again, I could uh, the, the power meter here shows you the digital power meter shows you everything you need to see or know when you're charging your battery. It shows you the charging current, it shows you the charging voltage, it shows you the amount of accumulated charge you have on your battery in ampere hours. It shows you also in watt hours. But I'm using this meter because my camera can't quite pick that up from there, so you know, so that you guys can see as I am making uh, voltage adjustments. So we have configured this to 56 volts. The battery is at 48 volts because it was uh, fully depleted. So when we turn it on, we start charging. So as you can see, the voltage jumped up to 49 volts, 40, uh, 9.7, 9.8, 9.9. Now we're 50 volts. So we're showing you that the battery is charging. Now you can't quite see this, but uh, if you look in here, you're going to see the same uh, 3.18 uh, amps that was set from before showing you that the constant current charger or converter is actually doing what it's supposed to do to maintain uh, in maintaining the set current be it for the 12 volts 24 volts it will do the same for 36 volts and now we have 48 volts so yes so that is about it for the charging and uh, yeah, most importantly, uh, the one thing that I forgot to mention is one of the uh, fun facts about this charger. It's the RGB LED uh, on the fan. Uh, you can change the colors to suit whatever, however, uh, whatever you know uh, you, you like. Uh, so you can put it on auto mode and just let it have that color for you if that's what you prefer you can set it on red you can put it on green as I had before you can put it on uh, this looks like purple you can yellow three shades of yellow there you can go to orange light blue you name it yeah I mean what's the point in putting the LED lights if you're not gonna play with it right so yeah so play with it and uh, you know give it different appeal depending on your mood if you're feeling good you can use green if you're feeling you have a you know bad day at work or you know who knows you can set it to red or you know uh, play with it so that's why why go the, the extra mile to put the leds there if you're not going to use it the same reason we use this fans in the computer because it looks very appealing so yeah don't forget to don't forget to play with your LEDs. That's what I'm trying to say. Or if you don't want them, you can just turn it off. I will be doing uh, more load testing on this unit with other forms of load, and I will also do another video to show how you can use this to charge your battery, battery in your vehicle. Because I've done this before, but I didn't make a video for it. So. Uh, yeah, if you like to see more videos on, you know, projects like this or the, you know, all the fun that I plan to have with this in the future, make sure you uh, uh, subscribe and hit the notification button so that as I release these videos, you will be uh, notified. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and thank you uh, for your support.